Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USDCHF and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now let's get straight into the business of this video. Let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. Three months ago, we can see that um, USDCHF ended as a shooting star, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. But after the market opened, it started buying and it bought back to the um the top of the week of the previous candlestick before it started selling again and it closed a bit below the open of the candlestick on the monthly time frame then um the next candle also did the same thing but this time around did not get to the top of the week it also closed a bit below the candlestick so this let us know that there is strong selling pressure around this region even though buyers has been playing um around but the strong selling pressure around this region which has been able to keep pushing the market below the open so this month we've seen the market sell till it came in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the monthly time frame and of course that happened last week then let's see the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see um activities of buyers and sellers there has been strong both buying and selling pressure around here we see when buyers pushed it up to this point sellers pushed it down and buyers push it up to this region and of course you can see all that has happened it was until um i think last week last week it finally broke this region well although it was broken three weeks ago but it bought again above um the support region and last week it sold and closed below the support region then let's see the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see um all what we've explained um you can see after the market sold down here it bought again and sold down here so the market ended last week on friday as a greystone dodgy and let's see the four hours time frame On the first time frame, we we'll see the market selling till here. We can see that there is uh, there has been lots of indecision. Um, there has not been much selling pressure. Neither has there been buying pressure. The market has just been lingering um, for till the end of the time frame. I think this occurred from Thursday through Friday. Okay, yeah, we can see Thursday was also more like a doji than a friday we saw the market end as a greystone doji so it's on wednesday after the release of the news on cpi that we have the we had this huge sell so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about now let me call our attention to the fact that this region has served as a support region for a while um, when the market sold down here, it bought again, sold down here, it bought, and this point it started buying again. So this region has served as a support region for a while. Now, the last week it was broken and it got here. Now, the market has sold till we can see here on the daily time from the RSI has gotten pretty close to the um, oversold region, which um, when that occurs, we start expecting bullish reversal. But also considering the fact that on the weekly time frame we had the market end as a bearish engulfing bar. We see here the market ended as a bearish engulfing bar, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. Then on the four hours time frame, we could see um indecision and there was not there was no much pressure till the close of the the, the week. And of course, we could see here that the four hours time frame got to the oversold region. That's the RSI we're talking about. Got to the oversold region. 
So, considering that the 4 hours time frame, we've seen less of selling momentum on the daily time frame, we've also seen um, sell, selling momentum as depreciated. Then, on the weekly time frame, we could see um, the market end as a bearish engulfing bar. Then, on the, this weekly time frame, then the monthly time frame, we have the um, candlestick has come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average so what i expect of the market this week is that it will buy it will buy till it comes back to this this support region which will now become a resistance and of course by then it will come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame so it will buy till this region when that occur, when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the uh, on the daily time frame then there is chances that the market will sell again of course it's going to make a huge sell that's expected but for now what i'm expecting what i don't think will be missed is that the market will buy a bit to buy till it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average of course we could see the last two candles see um, there's little selling momentum and on the four hours time frame there's also we can see little selling momentum also then the monthly time frame it, the candlestick has come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on this on the monthly time frame so there's chances for a pullback before the next huge move of course there's possibility that the 10 day simple moving average here on the monthly time frame is going to be broken i expect that to happen but uh, at this time i expect the market to pull back a bit till it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame then we can expect the next huge bearish move so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you if you want to register for a complete forex training where we give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training and if you want to subscribe for a signal service where we give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without cs check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location and we'll tell you the cost of shipping it you can find our social media handles in the description of this video so once you make payments we'll have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now